Hello everyone, welcome to Shri Voyage. Today we're going to go over face powder. I have noticed that this last year there's been so many new powders. I'm gonna break up the powders into different sections. I'm gonna go over what's great for those of you who are makeup artists looking to set your powder for your clients, everyday wear, powders that you can use as powders into foundations, and just everyday setting powder for touch-ups. Let's go ahead and get started with this powder video. There is eight powders that I'm going to be talking about today. These are my favorite, my go-tos, whether they're for personal use that I love them or for my kit for clients. So I'm gonna start off with the new Louboutin powder. So we're gonna start with the Louboutin face powder. Now this is the most expensive powder I'll be showing you today. The case is $75 and the refill is 50. Now the case itself is gorgeous, feels nice and luxe. Now it does have beautiful stitching on felt, it feels very fashion forward and chic. And of course it has the iconic stud. And there's one setback. I love the powder, but it doesn't have any sort of lid to put your powder brush on, but it does come with its little fan brush. You actually have a plastic disc that falls in and out because it's not attached to the case. So that is a minus, but the product itself, the formulation is gorgeous. So what makes it so great? It's a multi-use ruby powder. It has a bright matte finish and it's meant for buildable coverage. There are nine shades in the collection. There's cool, neutral, and warm tones. So what it states about the product is that it's meant to even out the complexion while warming it up a bit. I definitely notice that it is mattifying. Now I'm combination dry, so I don't normally gravitate towards products that mattify the skin. Now I'm somebody that doesn't gravitate towards matte products. I'm combination dry in my 40s and this surprised me quite a bit because it is matte but it's very very light in texture and it does the most beautiful job at blurring my pores. It just looks like someone photoshopped imperfections on my face. Highly recommend for those of you that like that luxury couture feel and look when it comes to your products and for those of you who are truly matte or for those of you that are looking to soften and blur the skin it is really a lovely powder now this next one is the chanel Le beige healthy glow face powder i lean a bit more towards this one for my day-to-day -day use being combination dry and in my 40s i need a little bit of those pearlescent pigments this definitely has a radiant light reflecting quality to the powder i would say it's very similar actually to the louboutin they're a bit like sisters in a few ways. They're both multi-use, they're both meant to warm up the complexion, and they both have a light sheer texture to them. But I find this gives a little more radiance where this is a true matte. This feels like I've been photoshopped where this feels like I have an extra glow. Now when I feel this, it is so light and creamy in texture. And you're gonna notice that I say that about all of these products, that's why I like them. But there's varying degrees. Where this feels light, there's a bit of a creamy texture to it. When I dip my finger into the Louboutin, it feels light, but I definitely feel that's a little bit more matte. Not dry, just matte. So key point here, for those of you that are combination oily, you'll love this. And if you're combination dry, you'll still love this. Just know that creates more of a demi-matte finish. For those of you that like a little bit of that pearlescent radiance or luminosity, still going to give you the coverage that you want, sheer and buildable, but think of this more as your day-to-day -day glow powder rather than a matte. So let's get into the next two that feel also like sisters to me. Hopefully you see a theme going here. I'm showing you guys two powders that are comparable, but one leans a little this way and one leans a little that way. And that is the Gucci powder and the Dior powder. Let's go ahead and get into the Dior Forever Natural Velvet. Now I have talked about this powder quite a lot. I worked for the company for the second longest time in my career and I was obsessed with this powder. They took it away, they brought it back and I couldn't be happier. The formulation feels just as good if not better. It is truly creamy. Now this powder is truly a multi-use powder, meaning you can wear this as a foundation. It has that much coverage or you can use a brush and lightly dust it on to create a light to medium coverage. I personally like to use this as my setting powder, but when I'm out and I need a little more coverage, I can take the sponge. It has a dual sided sponge. One's velvet to give you less coverage and the other side is a sponge so that it gives you extra coverage. So if you need a touch up and you need a little bit more coverage than just a light setting powder, this is your best friend. Now I've noticed that Dior is revamping a lot of their products. So for instance, I know that they took away the Dior Air Flash. I have found nothing better. Several of you reached out saying, Sheree, what can I replace? 
that's just as good as the Dior Air Flash. And I'm going to be totally transparent with you all. Nothing. I have found nothing that has that kind of not only staying power, but goes on that light and creates a truly natural skin finish. So what I have a feeling, and do not quote me on this, is that they're revamping a lot of their products with a more natural origin ingredient. So for instance, this states that it's 90% natural and they've been replacing a lot of their products with like pansy extract and natural ingredients. So fingers crossed, I have a feeling they're gonna bring back the Dior Air Flash. A lot of these companies take something away, revamp the ingredients and then sell it back to us. So a couple key points about this powder is it states that it's a 24 hour wear, light buildable coverage, matte finish. It's meant to correct blemishes. It also is meant to smooth any sort of texture on the skin. It is refillable and there are 16 shades. All right, let's get into my Gucci powder. For the past year, maybe a little longer, this has been in my top three. It's still a top powder for me, but it's definitely now more in the top Five. I found a few others that have gotten softer in texture. I can't believe it because this is pretty soft in texture, but let's get into why I still reach for this and love it. So this is a smoothing face powder, once again in a matte finish. I love the design of the case. In fact, when you lift it, it has a space for your puff, which I think all powder should, <clears throat> Louboutin, but the formula itself is lovely. So what is it about this powder that makes it so great? It's a smoothing powder, it's matte finish, it's buildable and can be used alone or you can use it to touch up the makeup. It does have a light floral scent, but it is very, very light. In fact, I didn't even notice the scent until I was doing some research on the website and then I smelt the powder and it's very, very light. So for those of you who have scent aversion and don't like scent at all, know that this does have a light scent, but it is so minute. Now, similar to the Chanel, it does have those micro reflecting pigments to it. And even though it is matte, it does have those emollient hydrators so that it doesn't feel dry or tight across the skin. Now it does have emollient ingredients to keep the complexion feel feeling dry or too tight, similar to the Dior with its wild pansy extract. So for those of you that like the luminosity of Chanel and the emollient qualities of the Dior, it's kind of like a two in one. It does state that this is a light to medium wear, so I would not think of this as something that you would want if you want full coverage powder. Ah, and I forgot to mention, there are 13 shades and I just looked on the website because I was a little, disappointed in the packaging that this isn't refillable, but it does state that the package from this item has been redesigned as part of Gucci's commitment to sustainability. Powders with the packaging shown in the images will become available once our warehouse's remaining stock has run out. So looks like they are going to make a more sustainable package for us all. Our next two, this is Laura Mercier, the loose setting powder and the NARS light reflecting powder. Whew. These are my kit staples for clients. Let's start with the NARS Light Reflecting Powder. Now this powder is amazing. For photographs, it brightens the skin, it is just seamless. Now there are four shades in this collection. Why is this powder so great, especially for my clients that are getting photographed? Three reasons, undetectable, light, and luminous. That sums up this powder. A few more things, it's light reflecting. It doesn't cause any flashback, which means causes any kind of white cast or makes you look like a ghost when you get your picture taken. And it smooths and softens pores and fine lines. It literally looks like you took an eraser on certain parts of the face and just once again gave that Photoshop kind of look to the skin. So for my makeup artists out there or my everyday makeup wearers who want a very light, luminous finish and are getting photographed often or are taking selfies often, you'll love this powder. So what makes this powder so great? And most importantly, why Shree would you pick this one over this one? This does a beautiful job at making the foundation color remain the same. Whereas the light reflecting does a wonderful job at not changing the color. It doesn't maintain the color as good as the Laura Mercier setting powders. Remember, there's only four shades in here. There are different variations of shades in here and also different uh, textures. So for instance, there's a matte and then there is light reflecting um, shimmers. The one that I have right now, for instance, is called the glow and there's a very light iridescent glow to this beautiful on brides. I use this often on brides like shoulders, their chest. I'll put a little oil on then put this on and it gives a natural luminous look to the skin. But let's read a few key points on what I love about this powder. 
First of all, it's 24 hour shine control. So for my combination oily or truly oily friends out there, this is for you. This also has botanical blurring pigments in it to help soften any texture. It has vitamin C to brighten and vitamin E for hydration. So you're not gonna get that tight feeling once again. Anytime you add a little bit of vitamin E or glycerin, it keeps you from looking like you're too dry and it also creates a comfort on the skin throughout the day. And once again, just like the NARS, it has zero flashback. Now these last two, I'm just gonna have to put up some images because one of my powders I left at a client's house and the other powder I am out of. Let's start first with the Westman Atelier Face Powder. This is the Vital Pressed Skincare Blurring Talc-Free Powder. I did it. <laughs> that is a mouthful. So first of all, this is a clean product. So those of you who like Lux mixed with clean ingredients, head to Westman Atelier. She does some of the best formulated products and the whole process feels luxe from packaging all the way through to formulation. So two key points, it's a light natural finish. And this powder is a true hybrid of skincare meets setting powder. And that is because it has a high concentration of vitamin C. In fact, the rep that I talked to for Westman Atelier said, if you are allergic to vitamin C or sensitive, know that this is very active. So for those of you that have an aversion to vitamin C, something to note. So having a high concentration of vitamin C will lighten, brighten, and tighten the skin. It's also an antioxidant protection. It also has probiotics, which enhances skin's natural defense mechanism, basically protects the skin a bit better. And it has quinoa seed to help the look of pores. It's a micro meal texture, which you'll feel right away. It is ever so light. It might be the lightest texture out of all the powders that I'm looking at today. It just feels like you're wearing absolutely nothing on the skin. It's very, very light in texture. It controls oil extremely well and definitely brightens the skin. It's also vegan, cruelty-free, and has recycling packaging. Now this is a powder that sits in between one that I reach for personally and one that I reach for for clients. So if a client tells me I don't wanna use anything that isn't clean formulated, I reach for this powder. It's similar to me when I felt it and saw it to the NARS Light Reflecting Powder, but it's even lighter in texture. Next is the Shantikai HD Perfecting Loose Powder. Now this is the one that I use the most and run out of the most, and that's because it's the most convenient for me. I can throw it in my bag. I love the formulation, but I have so many others that I love too, but I just don't reach for them as much just because of the lack of convenience. And don't get me wrong, these are convenient, but they're not as convenient as a stick that I can throw in my bag that already has a brush head on it. Now, for those of you that are wondering, does the brush head come off so you can clean it? Absolutely. And as a makeup artist tip, you really want to be washing your brushes at least once a week, or at least taking a spray such as this to take off any kind of germs, bacteria, any buildup. It is meant to brighten or lighten the skin. It has very subtle, light reflecting shimmers. Now for those of you worried about the word shimmer, shimmers are not glitters. So don't let shimmer throw you off. In fact, shimmer on my clients who are 40, 50, 60 and up look beautiful because they bring some luminosity back to the complexion. And once again, because of that brush head, you just shake the powder and you have zero mess. Everything's all in one, nice and compact. You give it a little shake, you put it on and you're good to go. All right, there we have it, eight powders, hopefully, I went over one that will suit your skin the best or for you makeup artists out there that will help you to decide what to put in your kits. If you guys have any specific questions, always here for you. All you have to do is comment down below. Happy to help any way I can. And for those of you who are liking what you're seeing on Shri Voyage, you are appreciating the content, the best way to support me is to go ahead and subscribe. Use the affiliate links down below. I'll have everything we talked about today. And right below that is a list of a bunch of different stores that you can shop for anything your heart desires. And lastly, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys and say hi. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. All right, everyone, as always, thank you, thank you for watching. Continue to take care of yourselves. Continue to take care of each other. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everyone.